Um, I'm not going to say, I'm going to say greetings. I can't share a piece with you, I'm afraid. So, what would you like, what's your name? Pasha. Pasha. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, Pasha? My name's Bob, here at least. What would you like to talk about? I want to ask you, uh, which Muslim country you have visited? With Morocco. Morocco. Pakistan? No. Iran? No. Afghanistan? No. Saudi Arabia? No. But I know Christians from Pakistan. Mm -hmm. I know Christians from Iran. I don't know any Christians from Saudi Arabia, but I do know atheists from Saudi Arabia. Next question. Bro, you waited here a long time. Yeah. Like, you waited here a long time. Was that it? Did you wait here just for that one question? What does it mean, peace? What does it mean, peace? Peace, like there's, 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 in, in the Christian faith, peace means things like the absence of war. Peace means to be reconciled with God, to be at peace with God. It means to be at peace with yourself. And it means to be at peace with your brothers and sisters and peace with your neighbors. Which means, again, to be the absence of conflict, the absence of hatred, the absence of anger or divisiveness of any kind. So when we look at Shalom, which is the Hebrew word for peace. Arabic Shalom. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just going to talk about Shalom because, you know, the Bible's not written in Arabic. Shalom means a, a complete and whole peace. But in the, in the deepest part of your soul, to the fullest extent of your environment. Even means peace with the environment. Shalom. That's what Shalom means, yeah. Shalom means also uh, what is about your peace. It's a question. Sorry? The greeting Shalom means what's about your peace. It's a question. Well, I'm, I'm not a Hebrew speaker, so I'll have to take your word well, for that. Why are you talking about the Bible and not have study? Well, hold on one second. Is this, is, so your argument is that because I can't speak Hebrew, that means I haven't studied. Right, well, I actually, I have studied. I've got a degree in religion. What qualification have you got in religion? Suffering. What, sorry? Suffering. Suffering. So you've got no qualifications then? What, what's your qualification in religious studies, please? What's your qualification, Pasha? Now, also, let's just note the double standards of that question. Because how many Muslims can't speak a word of Arabic, and yet they feel qualified to talk about Islam? So he's saying to me, because I can't speak Hebrew, why am I talking about the Bible? But there's loads of Muslims that can't read Arabic, and yet they're talking about Islam. Are you saying that they're wrong to do that? What does it mean? No, I want you to answer my question, Pasha. I not understand the question. No, I'll, I'll say it again. I'll, I'll, I'll say it again. Because it sounds to me like you've just come here to grandstand. So my question to you is, you said to me, I can't speak Hebrew, why am I talking about the Bible? There are lots of Muslims that so can't this was speak not my Arabic. This was not my question. Yeah, yeah, it was. All right, restate your question then, because I'm pretty sure it was. What was my, your question? My question was, why are you talking about Bible when you not have studied? But you said that in the context of me saying that I could not, I was not a Hebrew speaker. No, you see, you've even forgotten the context of, of also, your own sentence. I'm also not an Arabic speaker. So if you're not an Arabic speaker, by your logic, does that mean you shouldn't talk about Islam? Okay. Uh, no, answer my question. What does it mean, fear of No, God? answer my question. Because you've come here to grandstand, so now you've got your opportunity to grandstand. Answer my question. You asked the question to me, why am I speaking in Hebrew? Okay. Jesus Christ, man, bless you and lead you to the yeah. right path. God bless you. Take care. Bye bye. Right, well, if, why, why are you doing that, bro? Why are you, why are you doing that? Because you're a blame for Jesus Christ. I'm what, sorry? You're a blame for Jesus Christ. I'm a blame for Jesus well, Christ. Yes. Explain how. Because you have no peace, you have no fear of God, you're a blame. And do you know my heart? Do you know my heart? Of course you don't. That's just called grandstanding, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a perfect example of grandstanding. Someone who just wants to come here to the corner and make a reputation for himself by childish behavior. He had an opportunity for an intelligent conversation and he had no ability to follow through. So, ladies and gentlemen, are there any questions about Christianity that anyone wants to ask? Go on.